Once upon a time, civilized man and beasts of the wild lived together in harmony, neither threatening the other's future existence. But unfortunately, the world is different today. Many wild animals are disappearing from the earth because man is hunting them and destroying their natural habitats. The earth's most precious resources are being threatened by the destructive forces of civilization. The number of species facing extinction has reached a frightening peak. It is the aim of this dedicated trio, Tommy, Aura, and Seabird. Seabird, behave! <laughs> <laughs> this dedicated trio, Tommy, Aura, and Seabird, to protect endangered animals, so once again all inhabitants of the world can live together in peace. seals of the Arctic North, one of the many endangered species whose very existence is being threatened by man. The snowy white coats of the baby seals is in such high demand that profiteers from all corners of the globe gather here to take as many of the little pups as they can before their beautiful white coats are replaced by their darker adult coats. This is the story of one such baby seal. We will follow him as he grows and learns to survive in this icy wasteland. Hunters, hurry! Where are we going, Papa? We must hurry. The baby seals are in danger. I want all the belts we take today to be in top condition. Now, get them, men. Yikes! What's going on here? Darn. What is the meaning of this? Huh. What do you want here, Eskimo? We've got work to do. You will not harm these seals. Are you kidding me? Now get out of our way. We don't have all day. No. Come on, men. Let's get moving. Stop. You cannot kill these animals at will. We will see to that. Don't let this one Eskimo frighten you. He can't stop us alone. And there isn't much those little children can do to stop us. Come back here, you cowards. They can't hurt us. They're all alone. Not quite. It seems we have you outnumbered. I suggest you follow your friends and leave. Yeah, I'll go this time, but you haven't seen the last of graphite. Graphite. I'll remember that. Hmm. 
Well done, men. How did the others know we were here? Some travels far when there is no wind, Aura. We heard the snowmobiles and thought there might be trouble. So you see, children, the hunters killed the baby seals for their white coats. The furs are very valuable and bring the hunters a great deal of money. Are the hunters bad men? That's a good question. They do kill innocent baby seal pups, and that isn't a nice thing to do. Well, there must be other work they could do besides hunting baby seals for their coats. Of course there is, Aura. They choose to hunt. And I suppose that makes them bad. But Eskimos hunt seals too. Does that make us bad? Eskimos hunt adult seals for food and clothing. These baby seal hunters are killing for profit. And because of that, are threatening the very existence of the seal. Someday there may be no more seals left at all. That is what makes them bad men. Uncle Smokey! Whoa! Why, it's Tommy! Why don't you two be more careful? You could have damaged something. Now clean up that mess. The kind of help you have to put up with these days. Hello, everyone. Glad you could make it. Tommy, this is going to be the best school vacation you've ever had. Where are we going, Uncle Smokey? Greenland. Greenland? Yes, Greenland. It's beautiful this time of year. Tommy will have a wonderful time. I don't know, Uncle Smokey. I was kind of hoping we'd go to Hawaii or someplace like that. I brought along my beach stuff. Don't worry, Tommy. We have plenty of winter gear on board. You'll have a wonderful time. Wait and see. But what are we going to do in Greenland? We're gonna hunt baby seals. Hunt baby seals? Uncle Smokey. No, no. Tommy, what Carbone means is we're going to hunt for sick and injured baby seals to help care for them. We are? But Smokey, I thought we were going to Greenland to hunt baby seals for their coat. For their coughs and colds. Like I said, right, Sulfuric? Yeah, right, Smokey. <laughs> I don't know what I could have been thinking. So long. See you soon. This is the wheelhouse, Tommy. This is where we do all the steering. Oh, yeah, yeah, Carbon, you have got to be the biggest. Uncle Smokey, look! A whale? What luck! <laughs> yes, what, uh... What good luck it is to have a whale follow our ship. Very good luck in the sailing business. Right, guys? Uh, you're right, Smokey. Whatever you say. I'd like to look around the ship, Uncle Smokey. Of course, Tommy. Think of this ship as your home. <laughs> Listen, the kid thinks we're going off looking for sick and injured seals. I don't want him finding out otherwise. You guys understand? Uh, sure, boss. No problem, Smokey. Oh, boy! Killer whales! This is going to be a great trip. Already I'm seeing lots of terrific animals. Uncle Smokey, did you see them? There were orcas swimming along near the ship. Oh, this is going to be a wonderful trip, Uncle Smokey. I can tell already. Thanks for taking me along.
here! You must have traveled a long way below the ice. But you're very far from the rest of your herd. Don't worry, little fella. I'll get you back to your family. Look, little one. It's the seal herd. You stay with your parents. You're safe here. Okay, let's go over this one more time. When we reach the ice flow, what's the first thing we do? Uh, we grab our clubs and race down the gangplank after the baby seals. No. If we did that, the boy would know what we were really up to. So what? What's the big deal if the kid finds out we're seal hunters anyway? Because I don't want him to know. That's what. The kid likes me. But I want to keep it that way, you understand? Okay, okay, we get the picture. So we get the furs while the kid's asleep, and he'll never be the wiser. So, Tommy's Uncle Smokey and his two sidekicks are really seal hunters after all. Will they be able to keep the secret from Tommy for long? And what about our little friend, the baby seal? What will happen to him once Smokey and his crew arrive in Greenland and start their savage hunt for baby seal furs? Will Tommy realize his uncle's devious plans in time? And when he does, what will Tommy do? Drop anchor! Get the clubs out of the locker, Sulfuric. Bring them on deck. I want everything ready for tomorrow. Uh, why don't we start now? Wait. We better scout the area for spies first. Nah, you're right, Carbon. Uh, let's get on with it. Lower the gangplank. <laughs> Bring the club, Sulfuric. Okay, Captain. And remember, don't hit me in the head like you did last time. Hey, wait. You can't blame that whole thing on me. Uh, after all, you were the one wearing that silly seal disguise. All right, all right. Let's check out the area for nosy animal lovers. Speaking of such, where's the kid? Tommy, he's below decks asleep, I hope. Come on, we'll check out where we got the baby seals last year. Hold it, Smokey. If you don't want the kid to know about the seal hunting, why did you bring him along? Yeah, who needs the problem? I promised his folks I'd show him Greenland, all right? So shut up. Uh, that's strange. Where did they all go? <laughs> Behind that drift. Strange, I know I saw three seal pups out there. Where did they go? I think I see one. I got him. <laughs> get him. Oh, get him. Anything. Not even one baby seal? Ah, Smokey, a baby seal is hard to see in the snow. And why are you whispering? You got a sore throat? No, you dolt. I've convinced Tommy we've come to care for six seals. Uh, don't worry about it, Smokey. That kid don't know nothing. Huh? Tommy! Hi, Uncle Smokey. I'm going ashore for a while, okay?
take it easy. Don't be afraid. I'm Tommy. And you? Oh, <laughs> that's right. Seals don't have names. Well, I'll give you a name. What about Sealy? Nah. I know. Seabird. How about Seabird? <laughs> well, I'm happy to meet you, Seabird. I'm staying on that ship just over the hill. I would rather have spent my summer vacation in the tropics, but my Uncle Smokey insisted we go to Greenland. He said we'd be searching for sick and injured seals. But so far, we haven't even begun to look. And I haven't seen any medicine on the ship either. Look what we found, Siebert! A cave! Hey, this is really neat, huh? All this ice! These are little drops of water that are frozen. Watch what I'm gonna do with this. I've had for seven years. It's got a gold locket. Here, take it. And this way I'll recognize you from a distance. And then everyone will know you're my friend. You know, that looks good on you. Ugh, I'm tired. I'm going to go rest for a while. Seabird, how did you get in here? Get up, Tommy. Breakfast is ready. Carbon! The baby. The baby. The baby seals are on board. Baby seals on board here? And how did they get on board, huh? I don't know, but they're here. Oh, sure. They came on board all by themselves, huh? Okay, okay, let's get to work. What are you looking for, Uncle Smokey? Tell me, boy, where have you hidden those baby seals, huh? Answer your Uncle Smokey. Too late for that. He's wise to us now. Ah, who cares? But I tell you, I saw them there as clearly as I see you. I knew I wasn't dreaming. You'll make a very pretty coat. Whoa! Run, Seabird! Ow, 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 ow! Oh, there goes Tommy! Catch him! Phew, we got away, Seabird. Don't you worry. We'll hide in our cave.
like Uncle Smokey's in trouble now. you deserved. I'm going with Seabird. I could never stay with a man who harms innocent baby seals. I hope I never see you again. Come on, Seabird. Tommy's Uncle Smokey certainly got what he deserved. Maybe he's learned his lesson. But what will Tommy do now? To find out, tune in to the next episode of Seabird. Tommy now knows that his Uncle Smokey and his crew are seal hunters, but a layer of snow has temporarily halted Smokey's seal hunting activities. Unfortunately, carbon and sulfuric intend to help Smokey out of his predicament. Will these scoundrels try to hunt the baby seals again? Will Tommy and his new friend Seabert be able to stop them? Let's find out. Uh, have you seen Smokey? No, not since yesterday. Could that be Smokey? Let's take a look. Whoa! <laughs> knock, knock. Is anybody there? Are you there, boss? I recognize him. Maybe we better get him back to the boat. Yeah, good idea. We'll try to thaw him out. Haul away, Carbone! Easy! Uh -oh. Boy, Carbone, you really did it this time. I told you you should let me work that crane. It was an accident. Wait till everybody finds out we're working for a snowman. Shh, be careful. Smokey can hear you. Ah, he's covered with so much snow, he's probably hibernating. Hibernating? What's hibernating? That's when you go to sleep for six months at a stretch. Asleep? For six months? Don't you get hungry? Nah, you're too busy dreaming. Yeah, <laughs> dreaming about food. Boy, when we thaw that guy out, he's gonna be fit to be tied. Maybe we should let him stay frozen. Yeah. Hmm. Just think of it. No more being bossed around. No more having to work long hours. Yeah, we could even take longer lunch breaks. Only one thing, though. What's that? We don't have any room in the refrigerator. <laughs> Okay, this'll be perfect. I'll start up the furnace, and you fetch the coal. On with the defrosting. You're a big, fat idiot. I'm not that stupid. You ask for coal, I give you coal. You're an idiot! I am not an idiot. Hey, you! Help me! Put the coal in the boiler! Must I do everything around here? What kind of foolish creatures are you guys? Bird brains? Space cadets? Worthless! You fools! 
You couldn't manage to find me any sooner? I'll defrost the two of you! Ah! You idiots! Let's go. We have to find the kid and his dirty seal now. There! I bet we find your parents here, Siebert. Go on, Siebert. It's okay. Go ahead. What's wrong? Do you think I'll harm the seals? No, no, no. I, I wouldn't hurt them. They're my friends. You're lying! All you seal hunters are the same! Killing innocent baby seals! Oh, no, no. I'm not a seal hunter. I would never hurt a defenseless animal. I don't know! <laughs> oh! Siebert. I believe you. You are a friend of the baby seals. Oh, you've given him a collar, too. Oh, it's beautiful. You must be okay. Any friend of Siebert's is a friend of mine. You know, we Eskimos don't hunt baby seals. My name is Aura. My name is Tommy, and I just got here with my Uncle Smokey. He's a hunter. Tommy? The hunters! There they are! They're after the seals! Come on, we've got to stop them. What's that? are escaping. What's going on here, Smokey? I thought you said the kid wasn't gonna be any trouble. Yeah, and he's got a friend, too. And they chased away all the baby seals. Not quite. There's one seal left. I'll keep the kids busy. You two get that seal. Children, children, what seems to be the problem here? You know perfectly well what the problem is, Uncle Smokey. You are trying to harm those baby seals. Harm the baby seals? Us? No. You have it all wrong. Don't try and fool us, mister. <laughs> Seabird, run! Oh, you. How could you? What do we do now, Sulfuric? He got away! He's not getting away from me this time! Dig! to you when we get back there. Now get going. I've got work to do. Oof. Huh? You an Eskimo? You defend seals? Oof. Ooh. You let go of her. I won't let you hurt her. Ow! Ow! Ah! 
Enough is enough. You won't get in our way anymore. Yeah, let's get him, boss. What? Look out, guys! Spears! Spears? But who's throwing them? We're under attack. Let's get out of here. Papa! He's come to help us. He won't let them hurt any more baby seals. You there. What do you want with these children? Who, us? What with these lovely children? Why, nothing, sir. Nothing at all. They're dirty seal hunters, Papa, and they were trying to hurt our friend, Siebert. You three will wait here until the authorities arrive. Papa! They're getting away! Stop them! Don't worry, Aura. We'll catch up with them later. Papa! I want you to meet Tommy. He protects the seals. His uncle is the one that commands the hunters. Yes, my uncle isn't all bad, but I don't want to go back with him anymore. I want to help the baby seals. Why don't you come and stay with us for a while? We will give you shelter and teach you all you need to know about our country. Thank you. I accept. Come, let's go home. See you later, Seabert. Of course, I'm glad that he found his parents. But now I miss him. Seabird is here! Oh, Seabird! We're so glad you're here! Now we're friends forever. Okay, Aura? A courageous trio has been formed, and for the time being, Smokey's seal hunting plans have been foiled. But many other hunters may still have the same evil ideas. What new dangers await Tommy, Aura, and Siebert as another day begins in the Eskimo village? Morning, kids. Time to get up. Mm, Papa, right now? Just a little longer. <sighs> you prefer to stay in bed? Don't you want to see the surprise? The surprise? What surprise? Well, get up and come with me. There, Tommy. It is for Siebert and you. The two of you will be better off there. That's fantastic! Follow me. Let's look inside. You and Siebert will be safe and warm here. Tommy, you sleep over there, and Siebert, you sleep there. Let me show you one more thing. This is for Siebert. He will be able to go in easily. Now your turn, my good friend. Try it. Come on, Siebert. Be adventurous. Go on. Don't be afraid. Now, come outside. You haven't seen the best part. Tommy, Aura, you each have one of your own. Fantastic! I'm going to be able to explore all of Greenland. Look, Tommy. Here you have a two-way radio. <gasps> and here, a radar. We thought you'd need it to report on the seal hunters, Tommy. It also functions as a hovercraft. The principle is very simple. What are you looking at? Ah, uh, just those Eskimos down there. I hope they don't find out what we're doing. No chance. Graphite has it all figured. Let's go, Aura! Let's have a race. I'm taking Siebert with me. I'm going to win!
What is the helicopter looking for? Siebert had an uneasy feeling when he saw it. Can't you sleep, Seabird? Does this helicopter give you bad memories? Seabird? What are you doing there? Why haven't you slept in your bed? Wake up! Haven't you had enough sleep? What's wrong, Seabird? It's that helicopter, isn't it? But it's nothing to worry about, Siebert. He's gone. He's far away now. You want someone to try and find it? Okay, let's go. Ara, come here. We're going to find the helicopter. Siebert's afraid, and I want to show him that there isn't any danger. Okay, Siebert, I'm here. Meanwhile, not too far away, these seals are basking in the sun, unaware of the great danger that is threatening their offspring. We got a herd of about 50 here. There's a group of babies right in front of us. Get in here fast! I got him in sight. <laughs> Boy, this is gonna be fun. of Greenland, Tommy, Siebert, and Ara have not yet been successful in finding any clues which could lead them to the whereabouts of the helicopter. There's only empty sea from here, Siebert. You want to go to the icebergs to be sure? Okay. Good time to see how the hovercraft works. Yeah! Yay! I bet we find something there. I'm sure of it. It's time we started surveying the area. Connect the radar, Aura. There's a mass of metal in that iceberg. Let's check it out. There must be metal behind that ice. Come on, Aura. Look, there's steps cut into the ice. Let's follow it. Well, it looks as if we found our helicopter. I know that man. Okay, men, let's double time it. Let's get those crates stacked up now. Gee whiz, Graphite. Look, pal, if you don't like it, there are plenty of men waiting for a chance to wake here. Now get to wake. How we doing, Larry? Well, boss, the take's been off the last couple of weeks. Uh, you're spending all the profits. I can spend what I want. I own this money maker. Sure, I know that. But look, accounts receivable is down the tubes. Look, I pay you to keep the books straight, so keep them that way or get out of here. Yes, boss. Keep working, you clowns. We got to fill these orders. I hope that's not what I think it is. Let's take a look. cases. Oh, no. We have to do something. We promised. Remember? 
I have a good idea, but it's necessary to wait for nightfall. Okay, then. Let's wait. Okay, that will stop them with those wires crossed. They won't even be able to start the chopper. <sighs> Let's see him try to get sealed with a chopper that won't start. Group B, boat number nine, section D3. Group C, boat number one, section D2. Meet over there. I'm taking the helicopter. Affirmative, Chief. What are you doing? Step on it. We should already be in the air. What's going on, Bobby? I don't know. It wasn't supposed to start up. long time after this. <laughs> Tommy and Aura have kept their promise. Another plot of the seal hunters has been foiled. But will this trio always be so successful in spoiling the plans of poachers? To find out, tune in to the next exciting episode of Seabird. Tommy, Aura, and Seabird are at home in Greenland. Tommy has decided to build a shortwave radio. With this piece of modern equipment, people all over the world will be able to contact our friends if there are animals in danger. Let's see how Tommy's project is coming along. Wrench. Screwdriver. Knob. Thanks, Seabird. There it is, finished. Our new radio is ready. It's wonderful. But why make such a big one? There's already one in the snowmobile. Yeah, but it's not strong enough. With this one, I can pick up signals from all over the world. Kids everywhere can call to warn me about animal cruelty. What's this? Is it to keep your ears warm? But there's no fur inside. Nah, it's not earmuffs. They're headphones. That's how we listen to the radio. You'll see. Come on, let's put up the antenna. Whoops. There. Now we'll stand it up, then we'll tie it down with cables so it holds against the wind. Well done. Seabird, look how strong Tommy is. Hmm, good. Mission accomplished. Let's go see if it works. Come in, Digger. Come in. Do you read me? Hey, do you read me? Yes, I read you. I can hear you loud and clear, over. 
Hello! I just flew over a pack of baby seals resting on an ice floe. We must take them before their parents return. It's near camp. You can be there in less than an hour. I'll give you the seal's position. It's section 12, grid 5A. It's real near here. With the snowmobile, we can be there before them. We've got to save the baby seals. Quick, get ready, let's go! It's the helicopter that spotted the baby seals. The one on the radio. We're not far from the position that those poachers indicated. We should be close to their camp. Hide the snowmobile. We'll continue on foot. So go play elsewhere. We can't waste time on you. Let them be. You can see they're just kids. You're lucky you didn't break anything falling like that. What'll we do with them? They've seen the camp. These two didn't come here by chance. You can be sure of that. Perfect! Let's put them away. Hold on to them, you fools. You idiots. After them. Don't let them escape. In here. Where'd they go? I know they're around here somewhere. Oh! The storeroom! Don't make a sound. But what do we do now, Tommy? I don't know, but I'll think of something. I know they're here somewhere, and we're not leaving till we find them. Now what, Tommy? They're sure to look for us up here. That's it. The, the seal skins. Seal skins? Well, what are you going to do with those? Come on, you'll see. Do you understand the plan now, Aura? Okay, then. When I say three. Hey, you down there. Hmm? Up here. One, two, three. <laughs> Over there. There they go. Get them. This way. Come on, it's all clear. This way. We lost them. I don't see them anywhere. I can't believe you two idiots. Boys, you mean to tell me you have no idea where to look for those children? Mm-mm. How about in here? They're coming! Quick, we'll duck in here. But that's the first place they'll look. Let's hope not. Good idea, boss. Oh, idiots! I knew they came in here. Don't worry, boys. We'll find them. What do you think you're doing? I'm gonna look inside this closet, boss. Those kids might be hiding inside. That's the last place they'd hide. They know it's the first place we'd look. Gee, boss. I hadn't thought of it like that. Whoa! All right. Open the door and look, but make it quick. Oh, no! Now what? Huh? Hi, boss. Hello, boss. Hold it! I don't recall seeing you two around here. What department do you work in? Uh, we work in the sit-and-talk room. The sit-and-talk room? I don't recall a sit-and-talk room. What goes on in there? Uh, it's where you sit and uh, talk about stuff. 
Oh, yeah, of course. I'd almost forgotten a moment there. But no time to bother with that now. Those two rotten kids, Tommy and Aura, have escaped. You ought to help us find them. Yes, sir. Right away, sir. Sit and talk. Sit and talk. Hold it! We haven't got a sit and talk room. Though it doesn't sound like a bad idea. After them! It's them! Just as I suspected. It was Tommy and Aura in disguise. Get them! I think we lost them. Don't be so sure. So you thought you'd have the smartest, huh? Yes! Well, you couldn't. Tommy and Aura. These aren't just kids. They're a pain in the neck. Always sticking their noses in what doesn't concern them. I'll bet these pests have decided to protect those dumb baby seals. I don't kill these seals for pleasure, idiots. I kill them for their fur, do you understand? Do you think it's fun out here in the freezing cold? Do you think I'd bother if it wasn't for the money? What? Why, you little pest? Hold it, Graphite. They're only kids. Hmm. Okay. You lock them up and watch them well. We'll deal with them later. Enough wasting time like this. Come on, those baby seals won't wait forever. Yeah, I just hope Seabird's okay. I'm getting kind of worried about him. Seabird! Oh, Seabird, we're so glad to see you. Seabird, can you go for help? Find Papa, Seabird. Bring him here. But now, Seabird has escaped from the polar bear, but how is he going to get out of this deep crevice? And what about Tommy and Aura? Now, Seabird, their only hope of rescue is hopeless himself. If our heroes do not escape, who will stop Graphite? The other Eskimos are not even aware of his evil plans. That's strange. Seabird is never late when his food is on his plate. Aren't Tommy and Aura eating? Anyone know where they are? I saw the three of them this morning on their snowmobile. They looked like they were in a hurry. They didn't even stop to say hello. This morning? They should be back by now. Perhaps they've broken down. Hmm. I'll bet they decided to rough it until someone came to help. Aura knows how to make an igloo, and there's enough provisions on the snowmobile for eight days. We'll go and look for them tomorrow morning. Then we can follow their tracks. We'll take tools and replacement parts for the snowmobile. Right. I'll get my sled ready. 
and we'll leave it sunrise. <laughs> Finish your dinner. It isn't sunrise yet. <laughs> Everyone ready? We'll pick up the snowmobile tracks from Tommy's cabin. bit of a jam. Hold tight and we'll get you out of there. <laughs> Little one, you found Siebert. How'd you like to be the one to save him? What, what do you mean? We'll have to lower someone by rope down the hole. You're the lightest. Okay, I'll save Siebert. Good. I'll lower you down. You grab Siebert, and then we'll lift the two of you out. Okay. You can do it, little one. that Siebert's back with us. Let's find Tommy and Aura. What is it, Siebert? What are you trying to say? Siebert, are you trying to tell me you know where Tommy and Aura are? Hey, wait! What is it, little one? Siebert knows. Where Tommy and Aura are. Is that right, Siebert? Siebert said they're over there. Okay. This way. <laughs> smarter than all the bears and graphites put together. Come, dry your eyes and help me. We've got to get out of here. Graphite showed us where the baby seals are. We must help them to escape. They left on foot. Hmm, what have we here? Let's take a closer look. Huh. Seal hunters. And there's graphite. I should have known. And he's kidnapped Tommy and Aura. Impressive, isn't it? I do it all here from the hunt to the final product. I sell seal skins the world over. Work for me and you won't regret it. 
Tommy, you know the seals better than anyone else. You could be a great hunter if you wanted. You dirty cheapskate. You've got to be mad if you think you can buy us. Won't get away with it. Our friends should be looking for us right now. Little rats. If that's your attitude, I'll just have to lock you up again. Maybe after a few days, you'll start seeing things my way. You won't get anything to eat or drink. All right. Now we go. Follow me. Tommy, something's up. I can feel it. What do you mean? Just wait. Papa! We'll have you out in a minute. Hey, what's going on? Lock up children like criminals, will you? Ow! Oh, thank you, Papa. Seabird. I saved him. Well, thank you very much. I don't know what we'd do without Seabird. Okay. Now to take care of graphite. This is what we do. going. You stay here. The rest, come with me. There you go. Turn about fair play, huh? the baby seals. Follow us. We've come to save you. Shh, shh. Sound the alarm. The seals are getting away. Why you go? Go? Oh, go? Go? So that's how you guard them. You idiots. Now escort them back. You'll answer for this later. Graphite. Hey? What can I do for you, my friend? Return the children, release the baby seals, and go. Go? Don't be silly. It's you who must leave. This is private property. You have no right to be here. No, this is our land. Your land? This is not land, it's ice. Then this is our ice. Get them, men! Were you looking for these fellows, Graphite? They appear to be tied up at the moment. Get them, you idiots! What do you think I pay you for? Get after them! No! This is the last of them, Chief. Graphite, where is he? I don't see him anywhere. We'll meet again, I promise! We'll meet again! Graphite and his cronies learn that they are nothing against this brave and gallant group. Will Graphite learn and give up chasing baby seals? To find out, tune in to the next exciting episode of Seabird. Seabird's the brave and gallant.